But back with us live from New Hampshire this morning is the deputy editor of The Spectator, Freddie Gray. Uh, Freddie, I imagine uh, quite tired, being at, at Trump's sort of victory speech, the party. Just tell us, we've seen a glimpse of it there. The mood, presumably, pretty buoyant. Pretty buoyant, yeah. Uh, I would say not jubilant, not ecstatic, um, because there's a sort of feeling among the Trump campaign uh, that it's over and they just need to brush it aside. Uh, they're going to have all these uh, indictments, all these court cases coming up in the next year. That'll be the next phase of this. And then, of course, they want to look ahead towards November. Uh, and there's certainly a, a, a bitterness uh, towards Nikki Haley um, that you heard a little bit of there from Trump. Uh, one campaign official said to me, of course she's staying in because she's a psycho. Uh, and that's how they look at it. It's really interesting, isn't it? I said this to you in the last hour for people just tuning in. Um, it, it's actually not really ultimately down to her. It'll be the billionaire and millionaire donors backing her. It looks like Trump is an unstoppable force. And, and of course, bringing the Republican Party together helps him. But more than that, and we know this for a fact, if he can tie this up and then get on with being indicted and imprisoned and going to court, his popularity goes further through the roof. Because the only thing... Th that's what happens every time he gets caught. He says the Democrats are trying to steal this or do that, and, and his popularity rises. So you can't see Nikki. I mean, you said to us last hour, the next, the next primary is in her home state where she was governor, and she's 30 points behind in the polls. Surely her backers would say, Nikki, we're done. Get out. No, I, I'll say now, uh, and you can get me to eat my hat later, Nikki Haley is not going to be uh, the Republican nominee. She may, because the, the sort of never-Trumpism within the Republican Party is a, is a very strong and rich force, rich in terms of money, uh, she will probably keep her donors, her donors will probably keep funding her, the Koch family will probably keep funding her now because of this result tonight, because it wasn't as bad uh, as some of the polls suggested it would be. And she can say she's got some momentum. You know, she's she's gone from third place in, in Iowa. Obviously, Ron DeSantis drops out, but she goes up to 46%, which is candidates, not an Freddie. She came number. second because there's only two candidates. That's quite right. That's quite right. But she did double the vote and, and probably yeah. win... It seems like she won more of Ron DeSantis' supporters than people thought she was going ah, to. Oh, that's interesting. I don't yeah. think that means a lot, but I think she will she will claim it and I think her backers will keep going with her for a little bit longer. So they're still counting, aren't they? But mm. do we know exactly what those kind of margins were in terms of how much of the support Donald Trump did take? For, from uh, Ron DeSantis or from... No, just in the vote overall last night. Oh, uh, I think the last I saw, uh, it, was, it was up to 12%. So as the evening went on, it got better for Trump because the early states that reported were sort of more affluent areas like Concord in New Hampshire and they tend to be much more in favour of Nikki Haley. So even in those areas, Trump had an advantage, but it was much tighter. And as the as the night went on, uh, his his lead sort of built Ooh, on and yeah. on and on. And in fact, it, it was only when uh, he realised he was he thought he realised he was twelve points ahead that he came out and gave that speech because he wanted to come out with that message. Freddie, final question. You've been great for staying up. Just want to ask you this. He wants it done for all sorts of reasons. She wants to go fight. And they talk about uniting the Republican Party. You, you talk about anti-Trumpism. If this gets locked down, either before Car in South Carolina or before or whatever or afterwards, um, will the Republican Party get behind Donald Trump to oust Joe Biden? Once he ties this up, will, will the voices and the doubters stop? Because they will be more interested in getting a Republican president than having a go at Donald Trump? I think what's different uh, from 2016 and a bit from 2020 is that Donald Trump is the Republican Party now. Uh, any ambitious Republican politician has to stay on the right side of him. They have to suck up to him, essentially. Uh, and so the machine is his, um, and the Republican Party is certainly behind him. I think you'll see in conservative media and so on, I think you will see more of uh, a resigned acceptance now that Trump is, is the person who Republican voters want. They've tried a lot to stop him in the last eight years, and it just hasn't worked. And it is one of the most extraordinary stories of all time. If you told anybody, really, on January 7th, 2021... That we'd be that here, Donald yeah, you, you would... Would, of course... More than a raised yeah. eyebrow, I'm sure. Freddie, thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, mate. Really